this time on Custom Works, we're making a bonnet! Let's get to the workshop. Okay then, so this time, what we're going to be looking at is a 60s truck bonnet. This is a bonnet with like a, a Lexan or acrylic panel in it, so you can see through to the engine. Um, it's going to be a really weird shape, it sits on, so we've got to do a lot of fiberglass moulding. And we've got to make hinges that make it actually swing away from the bodywork and up. This is going to be an epic part of the build. It's going to look so cool. I'm going to make it right now. Okay, so 60s truck and the bonnet, story so far. Well, we had just a hole here and I've tidied up the edges somewhat. Um, I've used some plastic and fiberglass over it and we've got this quite nice sort of edge with a little rebate to it around here. Although there is still some work to do here. We've got some rough filler there. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a bonnet that covers that. Um, so I've got to get this base shape quite right because the bonnet is going to sit on this and mould to it. So first off, I'm going to finish this bit of filler up. We're going to get this shape correct around here, ready for the new bonnet. So basically, we've got to have that correct shape right from the start. So we need the bonnet to be in its sort of smooth, sort of radius down, and then the new new bonnet can fit on top of that and it will sit actually on it. So let's get the sand up and this bit of filler um, actually sand it down into the right shape and then we're ready to form the bonnet on top of that. this bonnet really level you know you you could prime and paint this this bit is done only in 40 grit but it's good enough so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna mask all around the bonnet and I'm gonna sheet over the whole front because we're gonna be doing some heavy glass fiber work here to make this bonnet so I'm gonna get the masking tape gonna get the masking sheet get all this masked off ready to get some glass on Okay, so everything's masked up and we're ready to put some of this fiberglass on. So what I've done, I've cut a lot of strips of this coarse strand mat. So what I want to do, as I put this on, as I wet this out, I want this to sag over the edge just a little bit. And what that'll do is create like a shape in the bottom of the bonnet that always hugs this sort of hole sort of thing and fits in. Makes a sort of like a lazy rebate really but I want that all the way around. I want this to be maybe four, five, maybe six layers thick. Um, you know, this is gonna be the main frame for the bonnet, this sort of fiberglass ring that is gonna give the real strength. And also we'll start to see the shape coming down into the front of the bonnet here, uh, where the front of the bonnet will be. So 
A lot of fiberglassing to do, like a lot of fiberglass in this. It's got to be just so thick and strong. But let's get on with it. Let's get it done. Let's try and make a bonnet, eh? So the fiberglass is on now, and we've got about, I don't know, probably four or five layers around there. And that will be quite strong, but what I am going to do, once this has gone off a bit, I'm going to put some strips of plastic in here, and then what I'll do, I'll go over those with a couple more layers of fiberglass. And what that will do is um, create like a, give some triangulation to the shape and a bit more sort of rigidity. So let's leave this for a bit. I've got the heater on it, and uh, we'll come back to it. And make it a lot stronger. Okay, so and um, bracing fiberglass. I'm going to brace that sort of bonnet around. So I want it to be really, really stiff. Don't know flapping. Want it to be stiff. So I'm going to brace it with this, which yeah is super flexible. But what you've got to think is I can stick this on with some bondo, and then when I go over it with the fiberglass in two layers, this just holds the shape of the fiberglass because that makes that tube-like shape. That's where I get the uh, rigidity, and it's a lot lighter than making a steel frame. And also, it's a bonnet, so it's got to be quite light. You don't need, you know, you don't need like four blokes to try and lift the bonnet, do you? So, I'm going to stick this on, then glass over it, and we are one step closer to the 60s truck bonnet. Okay, so all of that has now been tidied up, and all we've got to do now is just glass these bits on, so they become part of that framework. And as you see here, I've just stuck this on, just with some filler, normal Bondo, just to keep those in position while I glass it down. Right, so everything's glassed on now. We can see here, we've got, um, we've got a good covering of glass over this. And like I say, this has built a lot more sort of convoluted shape to this, and this will be way more rigid. So, time to pop this off, see what it feels like. off it looks really good but what we have got to do is obviously trim up these edges so I'm going to clean those up and also uh, on this little rebate bit that drops into the hole on the taxi uh, I'm going to cut this back because we probably only need about 10 mil of that we don't need all of this so let's trim it up and then let's start to think about some hinges What I need to do now is get my frame hinging. It's going to go and up to the side. God, I don't think I was going to do it normal, did you? Good God, no. Anyway, so I've made this. Just got these two more lift up and away hinges, which are just some normal four inch door hinges, but like quite a heavy duty one. And then I've put two pieces of bent rod on there. And that should suffice. There's a hinge to lift this. Well, at least I'm hoping. I'll sit like that under the wing, and uh, what I'll do now, I will glue it and screw it, but then this will be encased in, um, in fiberglass under the wing when I do the inner wings and do all of that bit. But for now, this is what we've got. If you see on this, this hinge will sit like this. We'll probably sit about just there normally, and then it will go like that. And from this point, which is a pivot of the hinge, it will lift up and away rather than, you know, just like 
digging into the thing, so this thing will lift it up and away. And this will be mounted with something like that. And it goes to there, bottom open, press it on closed. Well, it's going to be something like that. Anyway. Right, so I'm going to get this fitted on, and now we can test fit the I made these hinges yesterday and uh, I did have to do quite a bit of trimming so that this didn't catch, but check it out. The bonnet opens and closes nicely. Everything clears and uh, everything's looking good. What I'll probably do is remove these hinges and pick them up somewhat because you know they're pretty flimsy, they're like a prototype, but I now know proof of concept has been proved. So now what we're going to do is move on to what we're doing with this enormous hole in the bottom. Because we've got to do something special. It's a very special truck. So then what I've got here is this sheet of acrylic. Now, this sheet of acrylic was actually for um, automatrons. I think it makes the back windows and the headlight things. But it is incredibly thick. And this is not around the workshop for quite a while. And to be honest, I've been waiting for a time to use this on some, uh, something really good. And I think this is it. The, the other thing with this is the more time it knocks around the workshop, it's going to get scratched and damaged. And it's not the only piece of what 20 mil acrylic in the world. But it is a brilliant thing. And it's thick enough to have beveled edges. So. I want to mount this in here somehow, something like that, and you'll be able to see through and think, oh my god, that's a beautifully dressed, um, fully functioning real engine, that's what people will believe. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this down, I'm thinking it's too wide, I think it should be a lot narrower. Now, at this point, I'm literally guessing this, what's going to look good on that car. I've no design, I've got no way of, you know, sort of rendering this. I've got to see it in my mind and then make it look good. If you haven't noticed, that's the way I build everything. I know on, um, on Bitchin' Right, he did a car that had a, a glass panel in the bonnet and I really liked that. Was it an Electra or something? I don't know, I forget the car. I had a V12 under it, super cool. So I've got that in my mind, but... I think if I cut this narrower, that's somehow going to look better. And then I'll have more bonnet to contour to it, rather than it just being a big window, which I absolutely don't want. I want it to seem like a feature in the bodywork, in the style of the car. So, I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to hope that I get it right. Yeah, I need to do something more than that. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to sketch out some sort of shape on here. So I put it on the car, I had a bit of a think. And essentially what I've thought is, I'm going to go for a teardrop. Yeah, you know, it's not always going to be like total, total like innovation and stuff. I'm going with a teardrop. Once I'm happy, it's a nice fluid teardrop. Then I'll cut it out put it up there and we'll see what it's like and at this point all I'm going to do I'm just going to sand the edges to make sure it is the the exact shape because I'll probably be masking the edges and then snow plowing uh, the fiberglass up to it so it mounts it in nice and that forms a rebate that the acrylic sits in a lot of that is hard to picture in your mind but it will all become absolutely clear as day just wait and see Okay then, so, sadly, had to move over to my phone. 
I've had tr camera trouble. Um, but there we go. There is the teardrop shape on there. So what I've got to do now is construct some stuff around here. I think it's called bodywork, the technical term. What I'm going to do, I'm going to construct that, uh, try and get close to this. At the minute, I don't need to be all that close. I might pull a ring round it or something. I'm going to work on making all of this here all filled in. We have got all the fiberglass has dried on this and we've got the piece of um, acrylic in the middle of the bonnet. I've done some building up here because um, this part's going to be, you know, rounded and shaped. So we've built that up with some really thick Fomex. That should make this all nice up to here. Look, you can really see the height there. But for now, what we're going to do is around here, we're going to put a strip of Fomex ready to snow plow some filler up against. But this is looking pretty good. Um, I think we might have to round them back edges somewhat, but we've got lots of room for that sort of thing. So let's get back on it. And let's get that bit sorted out. What I've done, I've super glued this piece of Fomex around here. And I've super glued it down to the die bond along here. And I've got, you know, a few mil sort of panel gap in there. So what I'm going to do now is this sits up too high. So I'm going to grind this down to be level with the top of the acrylic and uh, yeah it should be a lot better um, but it's looking pretty good let's get to the grinder let's get that ground off and then we can probably put some filler on now in we've snow plowed around here I've done this in the P4E fiberglass stuff and I've thinned that down a bit with some resin um, just so it flowed nice in into all the gaps and for now this is it we know the acrylic fits in there and most importantly it is hinged on these great hinges that swing it away from the body and what will be the next step for this now will be for the whole thing to be covered in one sheet of fiberglass you know resin down i'll probably go over it twice it will make this just take the flex out of it so it's like you know rock hard and to make it a lot stronger at the minute what i'm doing i am filling it to get the shape but this filling you know i'm grinding through the component pieces of it uh, but because my framework there's no metal everything's plastic I can grind right in and make this whatever shape I want and I'm just putting the filler on so that when the fiberglass goes over I don't want the fiberglass glass to be bridging with a void behind it I want it to go over the whole thing you know mold nicely to a clean sort of shape okay so that's it for this week don't forget you can go to our Etsy store you can buy t-shirts and stickers uh, well, it's just t-shirts and stickers, but you can go there, buy them, do that now. Do it, do it, do it. Between now and next week, there'll be seven days that will pass. I'll be building stuff, I'll be filming it, and showing it for your amusement next Saturday. Until then, I thank you very much, and good night. And one last thing, congratulations to the owners of this truck for getting married last week. Richie and Claire, all my very best from me and everyone else here at Custom Works.